Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, and welcome to the anime-inspired role-playing game here on Saving Throw Show, powered by Overarms, available now with Drive Through RPG. Ding! We got a lot to cover, very little time. Uh, we took a week off last week for, you know, ickies, but we're back now, and let's go ahead and start off with uh, the only person I would trust to run the Shogunate, Aki. Oh my god, don't make me uh, a ruler of anything. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Aki, and uh, I play Manny uh, Emancipation Brown, and um, gosh, uh, they're, uh, they're, oh god, what are we calling it again? Divinity. Divinity? Is that what we're calling it? Oh, yes, your powers are called divinity. We've We've, we've taken some time off, and as you can see, I'm a little bit slow off the jump today. Our did... get off. I've had, like... It's so, been years. It feels like that to me, mostly because I actually only had, last week, two whole streams in the whole week. We uh, haven't played this game my... in 40 years. I, I, I didn't do a lot of streaming last week, so I'm, I am feeling a little bit... Anyways, um, Divinity is Ma'at, goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Um, I don't know what's going on. But I'm here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Glad you're back. Next up, he's riding a skateboard downhill towards homoeroticism and adventure. It's Critical Bard. I've been watching a lot of Skate the Infinity. I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just let that one slide because no. <laughs> JK, hello, hi. Infinity. It's great. <laughs> oh my, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard. I have with me a chicken bacon sandwich with cheddar. It's great. Um, and I play Kwame Akinyemi, whose divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god and god of all stories. <clears throat> that me. Nice. Next up, uh, he's a tournament arc that just won't end. It's Eric. Hi. They keep trying to kick me off shows, and I keep getting back on them. Welcome on in. Uh, I am playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the uh, who has the divinity Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer, living with inside of him, and he has no issues whatsoever. None. Yeah. None. He's fine. Man, he's gonna have to take this white boy aside and give him a talking to. You kind of have to make him drink some act right. It's gonna be a whole thing. Next up, uh, they, they've they joined a murderous classroom full of assassins, and they're going to change them all with love. It's Mika. Yeah, story of my life. Uh, hi, I'm R.P. Mika. I am double vaxxed up on a Sunday evening, and <laughs> I play Talia, <laughs> Talia Wingrove. Uh, her divinity is... My brain just doesn't want to work. Persephone. Persephone. And she's a lovable theater kid. And today is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Welcome. You and I are going to sit over here, Do uh, Mika. We're going to share be... a brain cell between yep. the little yep. cords. It's just going to be you and yeah. me <laughs> over here. It's going to be fine. I picked the wrong week for this episode. Okay, great. Uh -oh. I love this. I love this. That fills me with dread. Yeah, it should. But before you get to on that dread, uh, we got to give a shout out to our friends over at Die Hard Dice, where you can save 10% off your order using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. If you're in the chat right now, go ahead and put exclamation point DH Dice in chat for links and info. This code only works till the end of this month, this month right here, April 2021. So get to it. You can also order our friend CB's Dice Set. So it's like double dipping with friend friendship help, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Look at that. So pretty. So goddamn pretty. Now, I, hate, not... I hate it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Join me as we try to be uh, MUAs with the hand thing. However, if you're not watching us live, you're listening to us or checking us out on uh, YouTube or any other platform, thank you. Hey, we love it can't be with us live, at least you could be with us later. Uh, just do us a solid, leave us a like, comment, subscribe, uh, five stars. I don't know where you're listening to this. Just interact. It really helps the channel grow and it really helps the show. Um, and one final thing, if you join our Patreon now, 
I'm sorry, what? Sorry, I went to mute myself even though I was already muted and instead I air horned. Are you okay? That's the most air yeah. thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't, where was I? Right. Uh, the Exploration Society. Now if you want to air horn, it's appropriate. I, I feel like it, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, great, thank you, thank you. Someone take away his air horn. All right, so. Uh, you have until this Friday, April 30th, 2021, to join at any level and ex receive an exclusive Founders Pin, along with other goodies. The Founders Pin is really, really neat looking. We're really excited about this. And your support comes with so many rewards like swag, merch discounts, uh, adventures written by me and other GMs here on Saving Throw. Uh, so be part of the society. Join up today. Ah. And with that out of the way, oh, one more thing. If you want to help the show, help the channel, and also interact with us, we uh, we do take tips. They are very much appreciated. And your tips help unlock things. Uh, for example, if we uh, receive $75 in tips, we will do Hot Takes Musical Edition. <laughs> that's just for you, CB. Get ready for it all. Get ready for it. Yeah, I, have one. It, I think I think I, I honestly think mine might destroy some friendships. Cool, cool. I look forward to that. Also, if you go ahead and look on the unlock list, there's some really interesting ones like heals and a uh, way to avoid a hit and a power up. Hmm, I wonder why they're going to need that today. We'll see. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin our adventure. I, I, I feel the need to ask up front, are we full up? Are you are on HP and AP, so we are. Or we are. You are. Hallelujah. Um, that's good. Uh, uh, by the way, total party chill. Thank you for rating. So, as our story begins on a chilly spring morning at North Point Academy in North Point, Oregon. I have to ask, uh, Dahlia, how is the campaign going for prom court? Oh, fantastic. Yeah? Never better. Uh, I haven't thought of it in weeks. <laughs> um, aside from just making sure all my posters are still hanging in the halls, I've kind of been focused on Orpheus at this point. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, Kwame, Lenny, you're both nominated for prom court as well. Uh, how's your campaigns going? Lenny? Uh, Lenny is not put any effort into it. He's not super into the idea. Uh, he's he's honestly, I don't know if people have watched, but he's 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 every time like it's come up, he's like, like oh yeah, we should get we should get Kwame and Dahlia to be, to, and then maybe, I don't know, somebody, you know, he's never once suggested that anyone should work towards pushing him towards it. Hmm. Manny, is it nice seeing your plan fall apart before your very eyes? I love that no one's putting any effort into this. This is wonderful. <laughs> yes. I haven't done any, I, it's fine. This is fine. Is it fine? I mean, if this is what they really want, if this is how they express they truly care, you know, I've got to just support the things they want. If And that's, it's fine. Then these crowns will just go to poor, innocent students who have no idea what they're about to get themselves into. It's not like we don't have a responsibility to keep them safe. It's fine. This is all fine. Manny, for the first time in your life, are you feeling that urge of it's not fine? I mean, I try not to worry about anything too much because that's just going to give me wrinkles. And I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm too cute for wrinkles. Um, <laughs> I, Look at his princess. But I basically am just sort of like in between the, uh, did I did I get this wrong? Do they, do they, did, did, did I somehow get this wrong? And 
Well, I mean, if they, if they really don't want it, it's not like I can force them to care about it. They they have to do what actually matters to them. And so, then, okay. <laughs> uh, and, and I'll say that uh, Kwame, um, <clears throat> he, you know, he's pretty relaxed. He's not like, go vote for me to be prom king. He doesn't care that much. But there is a level of, um, you know, there's there's a couple of posters that uh, some folks have made for him, especially little. I'm gonna call him Jake, but that's not his name. It's Nick. Nick, thank you. See, I'm never gonna remember his name. Uh, wait, is it really Nick? It's Nick. I should remember that more than anything. You really okay. should, <laughs> yeah. baby. Um, um, you really should. <laughs> Anywho, uh, poor Nick. Poor Nick. Mm. You get bullied by other NPCs and forgotten by by uh, everyone else. Uh, but no, yeah, I'm sure Nick has, um, you know, designed some uh, some posters for him. Uh, and you know the uh, the the poet, the, the group of poet, the poet society. I forgot what we called it. The poet club. Um, um, they've they've worked up some stuff. Um, but again, he's also a pretty well-known popular ish character so i mean just that hey what's up vote for me gets people you know to vote for him so yeah he's not really trying that hard but when he can he does well when i say dahlia hasn't been trying i mean by her standards <laughs> she's probably still giving out buttons every class but she's not like openly campaigning mm -hmm. like dahlia should be campaigning you know nice save well, <laughs> as prom grows ever nearer and you all have the weight of possibly the entire world on your shoulders, we start off inside the school uh, auditorium. Recently repaired from the incident early in the, earlier in the year where the Wicker Man rose from Xander Carlisle and uh, burnt the place down almost. Um, you are joined by Mandy Murphy, prom queen of last year, and also survivor of the Night of the Keys, as she is taken to calling it, where you lost Orpheus, you saved Kim, and you also stopped the Phantom Queen from, well, running amok. The four of you are joined by Miss Wang, the uh, mysterious new teacher who seems to have awoken something in Kwame about a new power, allowing Kwame to take relics of gods and putting them back into a form of divinity that can actually be used and be worshipped and be tangible again. With Bastet at her side, Miss uh, Wang proceeds to draw on the stage floor a very elaborate chalk drawing of what looks like a door. She has been at this for about 20 minutes, and she has really not quick, been taking questions. Really quickly, you said the prom queen from before is also with us? Yep. Mandy Murphy. She does not look excited to be here. And Hi. is Ms. Wang doing... Divinity shit right now, or yep. Um. So, Mandy, how come you're here? Uh, well, I don't know. She came and asked me, and then I saw you three here. Kwame, you're you're surprised. Didn't expect to see you hanging out with uh, um, the school safety squad. It's well, he's part story. of it. It's a long story but okay, I, I have to actually qual clarify something who's not here you said the three of us i think he was saying that uh, the uh, surprise uh, many lenny and dahlia makes sense that they were here I'm surprised to see kwame also here she's very surprised to see because because okay, i was all right here. sorry i i it's i fine. was confused for a second sorry. i'm sorry about that uh yeah, you get it. Long story, um, but uh, um, new friends, new friends. Kwame's oh. pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, cool. You know me. I'm in every social circle. Yeah, if you so haven't considered like who 
who you're voting for for prom court like Kwame might be your person I uh, have not thought about that I've been too busy being stalked by the school paranormal society they're stalking you why well you want to tell them Letty or should I um, I specifically warned them about this, uh, so it looks like I might have to, like, pay them a visit or whatever, or tell their parents that they've been drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, apparently I'm their new queen, so that's been fun. Uh, oh, well. Kwame. I can't believe it, you know, I sprayed them all with alcohol and told them not to tell anyone or I'll tell the, the the teachers that they've been drinking. And I can't believe that wasn't an effective strategy to keep their silence. Also, it's kind of crazy that you're their new queen and not Kim, considering that. Mm. Yeah. Um, apparently it has something to do with uh, a video game. I look like I'm... Mandy is a uh, Latin... Latinx uh, woman, about 18 years old. Uh, she keeps her hair very short and a pixie cut, and she does not seem involved in this sort of world at all. But yeah, yeah, uh, they've been stalking me, so that's been fun. I'm apparently their new queen. Um, apparently, Have you said anything to the dean about it? I haven't told anyone about this because I keep pretending that never happened. Manny. <laughs> uh, oh boy. I still don't know why I was singled out. I don't know why I'm here. Now tell me, are you got Kwame, are you gonna have anything? Is, is there a frog? Is there a giant void monster? And should should I be concerned about a giant jar with a laughing face or uh wings with you? Uh <clears throat> Um, if we are judging by appearance, uh, you don't want to know what I am friends with. Okay. So they're nice. You don't like my wings? It's not that I don't like your wings. I don't like this situation. How can we help you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying to pretend I wasn't kidnapped by an urban legend. I wasn't almost... I don't know that... She looks down at her chest and to like make sure nothing is there. Here's the thing: sometimes <sighs> these moments that happen to you, they could be a good story in the end. So it might be confusing now, but um, if you take it and just run with it, it 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 it'll clear up in the future. Also, it like super helps if you like practice smiling in the mirror so people think you're okay. That's. We call that a coping mechanism. It has not been proven to be effective. Good, good, good to know. Yeah. <sighs> you don't have any phobias, do you? Not much anymore. You don't. You, so spiders are okay. I mean, I don't love them. Okay, we're good. Anyways, um, uh, Miss Wong, why is Mandy here? What's going on? And done. Miss Wang stands Miss Wong stands up, straightens her blazer. Uh on the stage of the theater, she has drawn it looks almost like a uh pentagram, but like 16 pentagrams in one with a spirograph and a door in the center. Uh-huh. Okay, this should be good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Miss Murphy, you were the one who uh, was kidnapped. I was kidnapped. Kidnapped, thank you. You were kidnapped by the Phantom Queen, and uh, she almost she almost opened up my chest with a key. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now I can see, you know, uh, her flower crown woman and the, his jar thing very good very good fantastic uh dahlia if you'll step up here please oh yeah uh sure i'm gonna step up there yes as you step up um she hands you a key um it's 
feline-like with some card embellishments. It is Bastet's key. Um, why, why? Well, you have the closest ties to who we're searching for, yes? Yeah. He's my best friend for life. Very good. Uh, Mandy was one of the few people there without divinity who saw Orpheus at the uh, end of his life. Don't phrase it like that, please. Thank you. I apologize. I'm sorry, Dahlia. Uh, she, Miss Wong walks over to the edge of the stage and extends a hand to Mandy, who does so with a grimace and walks onto the stage. Effectively, Mandy here is a door. Exposure to those uh, crowns you've been in charge of, Manny, gives a variety of powers. And Mandy here, as she was prom queen last year, is, well, a door. So you want me to unlock her? Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that. We will just need uh, a bit of Mandy's energy and the four of you, and we will be able to... Tell me, have any of you done any dream walking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, a, that was, that was, that was like, yeah. Last that was year the other dorm. Was with us. Don't walk in my party. dreams. I don't want that. No. I fell on some pizza. I had to change my outfit. I was also, uh, I was also, Almost getting gonna get married to Edward Scissorhands. You should try it, Kwame. I was my dad, and then a sheep threw me through a wall. Oh yeah, the sheep were awful. I got an Oscar. Oh. Okay, oh, I can sheeple. understand this coming from Dahlia and Lenny, but Manny, you know this is some <laughs> white people shit. We don't do that. I I didn't exactly have a choice. We needed to save an entire dorm that was going through some really weird sleep shenanigans. Uh-huh. We're going to pretend you didn't mention these things, and we're going to continue. Why do you need to know if we've been sleep, dream-walking, nightmare-inducing that? Miss Wong uh, stifles a giggle. I apologize. Um, divinities can only really channel themselves on our realm of existence through us. Otherwise, they have to take a form of a relic or perhaps well, a key to divinity. There's many realities almost layered on top of each other. The closest one to us is, well, the collective unconscious, the dream reality. And that is where we are going to get Orpheus back. Oh. So we're so dream walking again. Yes, but it's going to be a little different than the last time. I assume last time you did it, you were asleep. Yeah. Hmm. This time you are going to physically be in the collective unconscious. You're going to physically be in the dreams where you walk. So here's a question. If we get hurt there, say fatally, will we wake up here? No. Oh. Will we fall deeper into another layer of dreams? Oh, yeah. I watched the movie Interstellar. Mm -hmm. No, you're thinking a tenant. <laughs> oh. Is no, that the apartment no. building movie? No. The one I... uh, where he gets haunted and Samuel L. Jackson's in it, I think. Oh, yeah. Seven? <laughs> no, I don't think that's it. Mm -mm. I'm the narrator. I'm not even in this conversation. Manny's this just kind of looking at the both of them, just like. <sighs> and Kwame's looking at the ground. <laughs> so, just like... so what you're saying. So I, I don't know if we got an answer on this, but like if I die in the dreams, do I go to a deeper dream place where I become an old man? 
You die in no. real life. Yes. Okay. You will die. There's a movie about that too. Yes, and that move and that movie got something right. The Matrix. You... Oh, Bob. Remember when you were a child and I counted down from five? <laughs> uh-huh. I'm going to probably do that again. Just find the nearest exit when I do. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, if you are physically walking through the dreamscape, as I'll call it, you can bring things out of it with you. It's effectively cloning. So if I win like a Tony in the dreamscape, I can bring it out and I actually have a Tony? Yes. Or if you go back to the moment before you lost Orpheus, Time you'll travel? have Orpheus. Yes. But in dreams. So I guess my my question is a two-parter uh, in that like... Um, if it's a movie reference, Lenny, no. I will suspend you. No, it's not. Uh, one, what? This seems like a dangerous thing. So, what? What is the worst case scenario uh, about this? And two, uh, if we bring something from the dream, like a person, a physical person, like Orpheus, are we bringing them, or just our reflection of them and our memories of them? Thus, they are just bringing a piece of ourselves. Oh, I, I think I can answer the first one. Okay. Worst she case scenario, we die. All right. And that's like the worst? I mean, yes. I, I don't what want to die. What if we get die. stuck there? Oh. Manny, I understand this is a big ask. And if I, if I understand this correctly, this is mostly Dahlia's journey. So if you... Would I mean, like I'm, to not, back I'm, out. I'm not leaving Dolly. Like, this is the thing. I don't want to die. I don't want my friends to die either. And I don't know if you notice this about our group. But I'm the only person here with any like real, like, like built in defensive capabilities. Defensive pa yes. I have. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hey, hold no, on. No, no. Don't, don't, don't bring me into this. Do not bring me into this. I am a spider. I might be, you know, a smooth talking, you know, hot boy, but uh, I can do a little bit of do. Don't, don't, get, don't get it twisted. I don't want to, but you know, I, I can kind of, and I like stomp on the ground and leave a dent. I'm not saying that you're not capable. I'm saying that's kind of li literally what what I was made to do. I'm a guardian. Oh, I feel that. Oh, that's so yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, oh yeah. Besides, we can't die yet because prom hasn't happened yet. Oh yeah. First of like, all, we are not I... going to die in a dream. This is not Freddy Krueger. It is not <laughs> happening. Um, we have dealt with stuff outside of here more than we probably should, as we are only high schoolers. But we are not going to die. So let's get that notion out of our um, tongues, please, off of our tongues, at least. What does the hockey guy have to do with dreams? He, you know, every, you know, every, every, what's the word I'm looking for? You're making me tongue tied. Um, you know, every reference to anything, but you don't know who Freddy Krueger is. The one who literally kills you in your dreams. Yeah. He's the what? one with the hockey mask. With the machine. He did it. That is, that is Jason. And it's actually his mom in the end. That mm. is Jason Voorhees. I have never felt so old in my life, and I have a 10 year old. I'm in pain. <laughs> <sighs> well, this, is, this is actual death. <laughs> I do have good news for the table. Uh, thanks to our wonderful chat, we have unlocked re rolls for this game. So we have five re rolls on the table for y'all. Use them when you need them. You're probably going to need them. Just saying. All right. So, how do we do this? Where, where do we start? Do we well, need water? I would recommend you bring water, but you won't be in there very long. You will simply have to go through uh, Mandy's memory of that night. Oh. All right. I'm going to pause us right there. 
and Manny turns to Mandy. You have been asked to be here. But you do not have to stay. If you do not want to do this, you do not have to do this. This is your memory and your mind. All of this is a choice that you are encouraged to make. Don't let anybody force you to do anything you do not want to do. I uh, appreciate that, Manny. But Miss Wong here already explained kind of what's going on. And she also said she could make it so I'm not a door anymore. Okay. And honestly, I know what it's like to lose someone. She glances over at Dahlia. So if I could get him back, I would too. All right. I just wanted to make sure that you know that not a single one of us here would have been upset if you decided you did not want to do this. I get that. And I appreciate that. Thanks, Manny. So, like, quick question before, like, we step in or whatever. Um, so, is the concept here that everyone who dies lives in the dream or that dreams can always come back or we can, is it just because Orpheus wasn't people? Uh, he was, you know, whatever he, he was, but he can come back, but can people come back? They can. They shouldn't, but they can. And more importantly, if my theory is correct, Orpheus is a very special case. If you want to get someone back, you have to go a lot deeper than the dreamscape. A lot deeper. And you probably won't come out. Do we need to go to like Hades Town or something? That's pretty deep. That's really deep. Big hole. Just you. But it's like it's like possible though. Yes. <clears throat> it is. Well, Kwame like made a joke, but like he's looking at Lenny, but yeah, more just like eyebrow looking at, looking at Lenny. Uh. Same. Hard same. Mm -hmm. And I think I'd be a pretty lousy teacher if I were to show you that right now. Now I need four of you to join hands and Mandy, I just need you to concentrate on that night. We're in the auditorium. Uh, yeah, you're on the stage. There's the th you're in this. Okay, I'm about to show. Grew up in California. The auditorium is also basically the theater, right? Yeah. Sometimes, okay. yeah. yeah, sometimes, yeah. That that's it's what the it is. Cafeteria, yeah. but it's got a little tiny stage. No, <laughs> oh, no, that's no. how they do it in Japan. Oh, I mean, I've, I've had to, I've had schools like that here too. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that because we had the gym is also the theater in Japan. Yeah, we had well, we had a proper theater, but we also had like where the cafeteria seats were was also a small like auditorium for like smaller mm -hmm. things. Yeah, we. But I, I got what you meant though. Yeah, yeah, kind of uh, like in High School Musical. Yeah, actually, perfect example. Um, uh, Kwame is just going to go slip away real quick behind like a curtain, and then come back with some hand sanitizer, uh, and just you know. Squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> He's not like a clean freak, but just like, mm -mm. yes, oh, please. Has been. Yep, squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> Lenny? Oh, I, I actually generate my own, and you see his hands become wet <laughs> like with alcohol, and then he shakes oh. them off. I squirt someone to say anyway. <laughs> Dahlia? I'll take some. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And then I guess like toss it. It clatters. <laughs> yep. That's probably um, hand sanitizer on the ground around. Hey, it needed to be clean anyway. Yeah, coconut. <laughs> Grabbing hands. Uh, I, 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 I grab uh, uh, Dahlia and Kwame's hands. I will grab Manny and Lenny's hands. Okay. And I will grab uh, Dahlia and Kwame's hands. And I will grab myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a spider. I got six more hands. What do you mean? And a go, this is a family show. I dare you. I'll just go hug myself. 
As you join hands, Miss Wong takes a couple steps back, closes her eyes, and when she opens them, they are glowing white. In front of her appears Bastet, as beautiful, cat-like, and Vegas-bound as ever. And beneath you, the chalk outline begins to move, almost like running water beneath your feet. It glows purple, then red, then white, then back to purple. And suddenly you are all engulfed in a gray brightness that's all encompassing. And then it's gone. The four of you stand alone in the, uh, on the stage of the auditorium. In the audience, you see DJ Phoenix, uh, Jeff M0307, and Hours Without Sleep uh, playing, looking, looking like some sort of weird collectible card game uh, at the foot of the auditorium. And everything looks exactly the same. Did it work? Mm. I, I thought, I don't know. It's weird. It doesn't feel like anything changed. Yeah, I was thinking really hard that we would be at the Tonys right now. I don't think Being... we're... Go, go ahead. ahead. Finish your finish statement. I, I don't think we're going to be able to go to a place that Mandy's never been before. This is her memory. Hey, you're right. Being that amongst the group, Kwame is the reality warper. Can I feel that like we're in like a different? I mean, obviously, I know that we are, but can I? Is there a, a a different feeling I get here? Yeah, um, it's kind of like seeing the Mona Lisa in a textbook. Looks right, but it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Kwame is like slightly. It's weird. You would think that he is a little more comfortable seeing that he's used to shifting realities in, in, in subtle ways, but there's a level of um, unease. It's a little bit that he feels right now. We should head, we should head to the old, the old auditorium. Is that what he was last seen? The basement? Yeah. Then, uh... Or, well, actually... We got there through the graveyard. That's where we were supposed to get to him or them with Kimmy. So maybe we go to the, the graveyard and, and and follow. I don't know. Maybe we should find Mandy and follow her. Wait, what time is it in this dream world? What if we can just find me before the fight. Orpheus was in my backpack. I don't I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm trying to figure out whether or not we have that level of flexibility to go places that Mandy wasn't uh, didn't go. Hmm. I guess the only way we can know for sure is to find out. Do we see Mandy in the auditorium anywhere? Uh I'm glad you ask. As the four of you have this conversation, you see the uh, front door of the auditorium open. Uh, Mandy is in her cheerleader uniform, and you see a uh, sphinx roll at the top of the stairs. Just give me a sec. I got to grab my stuff. Oh, crap. I know I left it in here. I know I left it in here. She looks down at the three boys playing a uh, card game. Hey, have you guys seen a pink bag? No? All right, thanks. Uh, she walks by them and then proceeds to walk through you, Kwame. And it's uh, not pleasant. It's kind of like, uh, have you ever stuck a fork through Jello? You imagine this is what it's like to be the Jello. Yeah, I think he like started to back up, um, and then as she went through, he just, oh, oh don't. Mm. You okay, Kwame? I um, <clears throat> when you can control even little aspects of reality when. You're officially not in control. It doesn't feel good. I just want to get done with this. Well, you should follow Mandy. Yes, that's exactly 
what and he just like turns and starts to follow because he just doesn't like this feeling yeah what is this feeling so well can you control is like an illusion or whatever that uh that we like to believe we have control over anything at any point but it's like honestly uh you can't really control nothing what is lenny wearing right now uh, he's, he's just wearing, uh, he, he is wearing, uh, a, a hoodie and some, uh, some, uh, track pants and sneakers. What color is his hoodie? Uh, his hoodie is purple. Spider, let me spin you a story in which your hoodie is now bright pink. Uh, go ahead, spin the AP point and I'm not going to make you roll because it's such a minor thing, but, uh, no. poof, make it pink. Huh. I have more control than you think. Sick. I just don't like it when I don't have control. Oh, Pink Eric looks really is... good on you, Lenny. I know. Yeah. I, I think I like it, you know? You should wear it more often. I know. I'm going to have to go get some, some more pink. <sighs> I'm glad that you um, find joy in this. He keeps walking. Yeah. By the way, folks, we are $30 away from musical hot takes. Just throwing that out there. Uh, before... Manny, yeah, Manny kind of shuffles in next to Lenny as they, they follow Mandy. At the four of you follow uh, Mandy, she goes to the back of the auditorium. Uh, there's some stuff from the drama club. There's some stuff from uh, the an upcoming dance recital that's being stored here. And there is a pink backpack with a uh, little bunny mascot thing that looks like a Sanrio character. Oh, thank God, I... I would have been so screwed. She picks it up, throws it over her shoulder, and as she turns around, you're gre- she's greeted with the white, the bone white, crooked silhouette of the Phantom Queen. Oh, shit. Now, Kwame, I don't know if you ever saw her in this form, but this is what the Morrigan had spent the past several years as. A creature made of bone and viscera. And without warning, it reaches out a hand. And suddenly you see a keyhole appear on Mandy's chest. Perfect. She grabs Mandy around the throat and they both sink into the floor. Oh boy, I had no idea. That's, that's, I understand um, why she wants to forget the night now. Um, huh? Where, where did she go? She sunk into the floor. Well, um, I saw that graveyard, maybe. I, Lenny is gonna focus really hard and just try and sink through the floor. <laughs> go ahead and give me intelligence roll. Okay. Let's see. That's Manny deep... sinks. The, Manny sinks to the floor. Seven. Oh, Manny can just do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. On a seven, <laughs> uh, Manny. Manny, you do it first, and when you do, you see basically how the sausage gets made. <laughs> Beneath this auditorium is an Escher-like painting of stairwells, Mandy's, Phantom Queens, and pink bags. Uh, going every which way and seemingly without end. Lenny, a few moments later, uh, with the grace of a uh, 30-year-old man trying to do a uh, slam dunk for his first time, you come out and pretty much flop next to Manny. Huh. You know, in, oh. in, in lucid dreams, you can, like, control it or whatever. So I thought, right. like, I could just do it. No, that was tell- a really cool idea. I, I, I'm really glad that like this is a place where everybody gets kind of equalized. That's that's neat. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna telepathically tell the, the two of them that they can just sink through if they want. Um actually, uh Kwame and Dahlia, as the two of you watch Lenny sink through the floor, he leaves behind a pretty much a manhole where you can see inside this Escher painting. That's convenient. Um, Lenny. Lenny. In your heads, you all hear, yeah, you can totally just like sink through. Okay. 
I'll jump in. Also, what's my Loki power again? <laughs> I forgot. I don't know. Did you, you ever find out? You I have, have a super I... screen. Right, 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 right. I'm like Black Canary. Okay. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kwame um, sighs and uh, enters as well. How are you feeling, Kwame? Is this all? Are you okay? He's a breeze. He's watching. He uh, doesn't talk about it. You need a hug? Yes, he shakes his head no. Okay. Hop, one, two, three. Hop, one, two, three. And rounding a staircase that should not exist, you see two sheeple. Oh, Fluffy, no. white, and armed. Not these guys. Do we uh, recognize them? What's a sheeple? A sheeple is, from what they learned last time they went dreamwalking, is basically a security guard for the dreamscape. Oh. You know how people count sheep to get to sleep? Oh. <laughs> yes. These guys. Yes, these man-sized sheep men with long... One of them has a lance, one of them has a sword. Uh, see the four of you. Look to each other, mutter something, then look back to you. And the one with the sword steps forward. Uh, burr, burr, burr. So stay your business. We are uh, trying to ascertain what happened with our friend and see if we cannot retrieve them. Hmm. Uh, both of them step closer to the four of you and get really in your business. They are like right in that personal bubble. We've done this before. You're not asleep. No, we're not. Can they do that? I don't know. I guess I can do that. Read our aura. I'm a sheep. I can't do that. Can I psychically... Uh, see if they like like read their their like their minds i want to see if they have like a boss or like sure you know, sure like... go for it uh that's going to be an intelligence roll yep uh that is a yeah that is a a five all right uh they have a defensive three so that definitely breaks through uh you know that meme about uh head empty no thoughts it's just elevator music in there Okay, so go. Uh, honestly, yeah. Do you have permission? Because this is where we're supposed to be. So I'm not even entirely sure that you're supposed to be here. Uh, are we supposed to be here? I think we're supposed to be here. You think or you know? Go ahead, give me a charisma roll. <laughs> oh, what? oh, okay. That's is not going to go well. You need to beat a three. Oh, I got a four, which was the best I can do on this dice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he brings up a good point. I don't know. I don't know what my job is anymore. Listen, we're not here to mess with you, so please do not mess with us. Okay. The sheep just kind of plop down. They're very sad sheep. Your hair, your 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 fluff looks lovely today. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, Bye. if if I want to go deeper, like how 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 do I do that? You need to talk to our king. Who okay. Your king? He's been gone for a long time. Oh, dang. All right. If we are continuing on, <laughs> yes. I assume Lenny? you are. Lenny? Huh? What's what's going on? Oh, we're, we're trying to find uh, Orpheus so we can bring him back? Mm, you know what I mean. Like, uh, if you want to go deeper, why would you want to go deeper? Who are you looking for? I mean, I'm Thanks. just curious. Hmm. But pairing the curiosity with your question about bringing someone back, who are you trying to bring back? I mean, I don't know if I'm 
like trying or whatever. I was just curious if it were possible. You know, I'm just I'm I'm a curious young man who like Lenny. Like, who are you trying to find, Lenny? Uh, I'm trying to find my brother. Why would he be here? Well, I I don't know if he's here, uh, but he died. So like, and we can bring things back sometimes. You posed a question earlier. Are you actually bringing back someone or a manifestation of yourself? Yeah. Is that what you would want for your brother? No, that's why I. I uh, that's why I'm curious. Because if I'm just bringing back who I think he was, or like just like me pretending to be him, then uh, I mean, then I'm then there's just two of me pretending to be him. Is that what you're doing? Pretending to be your brother? Um, I think yeah. For a while there, I was. How long has he been gone? Uh, he's been he's been gone ten years. Oh. I. How come you never talk about him? Uh, it, you know, it is a long time ago, and like. Um, he was, he was, he was older than me. He was like a lot older than me. Um, it's fun. It's my birthday's coming up. I'm actually going to be older than he ever was, which is kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just, it was, it was easier to not talk because like my mom left and my dad didn't want to talk about it. So I just, I just didn't talk about it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. No, it's not. You should have been able to talk about it with someone. I don't think you've had time to process it. I don't think you've been given an opportunity to. Yeah, that's. I'm. I've been like trying to be better about it the last few months. I don't think we haven't noticed. You've you've done a lot of changing. I know that you're still not completely comfortable talking to us about things, but we have been listening. We know something's wrong. We do want to help you. Yeah, I and I get that, and I'm I'm happy that y'all are like. Heck is supportive and like, you know, but also like, let me kind of figure my own stuff out and don't, well, don't tell me how to be, which is nice. I mean, why would we? You've, you've, everybody's got to figure out stuff on their own time. And at least the way you are trying to figure it out doesn't hurt the other people around you. Mm. That being said, the the alcohol, like, that's a little bit concerning. Maybe not the best way to cope. Yeah. I get that, but also, like, it's not like it's something I do to get through the day. And it's more of just, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like I don't care about certain things. Sometimes, well, which is nice. Of, a lot of coping mechanisms don't start out that way. I'm just saying, you know, be careful. Yeah, no, I mean, in Kasi, I mean, like we talk about that a lot because because she's always saying like, you know, used to be like, you know, you couldn't drink water. So like. Kids would just drink beer all the time, so it wasn't like a big deal. But she understands, like, <laughs> it's like times are different. Like, water's good now. Lenny, if I may be honest about something, or if I may be frank about something, I 
your feelings about your brother are valid, obviously. Um, and while I am not connected to a divinity of the dead, I am connected to a divinity of fate and stories and reality. You are a very curious individual, a good friend, but I believe your instincts sometimes outweigh reason. Just be careful while you're here because whatever we do, we don't want to shift and change what is outside of here. Yeah. I get bringing that. back Orpheus is, at the end of the day, bringing back a spirit, someone who doesn't truly exist, and yet they do. Bringing back your brother is a completely different story, even if they are not real. Yeah, and, and we don't want to lose you. And she said that sometimes if you go deep to get someone, you don't come back. Yeah. I'm not I'm not looking to like disappear or like bring about the apocalypse or whatever. But like I don't know. Six months ago I was just a football player and now I have the power of a god and like I've already seen someone come back from the dead, so I'm like I know it might not be possible, but I don't know everything. Well, I'm sure there's a, I think that there's probably a price to everything that we do, but I also know that sometimes the only way to know something for sure is to look for answers. As long as you do it in a way that doesn't put you in danger, I think that's okay too, because sometimes it's better to just know. I think the person I was like a couple months ago wouldn't have cared about that being in danger. But I think I I like being around a lot more than I used to. We like having you around. I'm really glad that you and I figured out a way to be friends. Same. I'm glad you're part of the safety squad. With yeah. Us. I don't think I had, like, real friends until I met all you. Well, I don't know about that. There are obviously people besides us who really care about you. As the four of you continue on your way through this Escher painting of memories and what could have been and what should have been, eventually the four of you see something familiar. The door of oblivion. Ugh. And it's cracked open. On the other side is not the darkness you're used to seeing, though. Instead, you see a large white room covered in keys, seemingly infinite in number. And you see, well, Manny, Lenny, Dahlia, and Iris fighting the Phantom Queen. Loki, uh, not a rabbit, but a human. Well, human is a very generous term. Peeks through the door at the four of you. Ah, right on time. Good to see you. Huh? What? You're here for you're here for Orpheus, right? Um. Yeah. Very good. Uh, he pushes open the door, and Dahlia there glitching out between a form of a black rabbit and a strange geometric purple creature that you remember as a crow. And something different, something your eyes can't really process is Orpheus. Is he like through the door or is it he's, he's opened the door with 
Loki, just like that night was. You see, and for a moment, you see yourself from several months ago helping them open the door. I'm going to drop to my knees and open my arms. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Speed plus dexterity. How could you do this? I mean, he is a storyteller. Kind of his job. It wasn't going to be that easy. We didn't really. It could have been. Yeah. Just give us the rabbit and nobody yeah. gets hurt. Instant gratification. Put the bunny back in the box. Instant gratification. In the box. I rolled a six. Any with a six? Five. Kwame with a five. Oh, Dolly with a ten. I got a nine. Nine. Eight. And Lenny with a nine. All right. So, Dolly, you are going to start out this combat. In front of Do you, I know with combat? Well, here's the thing. As you drop to your knees and open your arms, Orpheus looks at you, and then it's not Orpheus. That form you couldn't process, the form that looked like the world was censoring it, finally takes root. It is a creature, a uh, large... Black, uh, obsidian black and bone white, long, long ears that taper off almost like horns, and a crown where the eyes should be. And it lets out a scream that shakes this dreamscape the four of you are in. And all you realize you are definitely in danger. Uh, I'm gonna scream back. <laughs> All right, all right. So this is going to be a dexterity roll to hit. We unlocked re-rolls, right? Yes, we have re-rolls. Because I rolled in that one. I'd like to re-roll. Go ahead. We'll spend a re-roll. You can... Nine. Nine. Okay, cool. Uh, nine. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll me uh, your charisma plus two. This is going to be your damage for this attack. Eight plus two, ten. Okay. Um, you scream at this thing as it roars, and you can see it hit. It does not seem to care, though. Uh, and now it's the uh, on King's turn. The, the what? Would you like to repeat that? What was that? The pawn yeah, king. I didn't hear it. Yeah, you can. The pawn, pawn king. king. Okay, this is all fine. Everything. So this is an episode of Pawn Stars. This is fine. Oh Best I can do is an eight. Sorry. Hmm. With uh, the dexterity and agility you expect to see from, well, a rabbit, uh, it dives at you, Dahlia, and you are lucky. I rolled a three. It crashes and goes sliding. Bits of dreamscape flying up in the air as Loki, taking on his uh, rabbit form, comes toddling up with a Fanta with a little uh, curly straw. <laughs> yeah, this is how I expect it to go. <sighs> Have I mentioned Loki's an asshole today? <laughs> I love him, and if if Manny ever did want to date or have a boyfriend. Date a god. Not, not, not even a boyfriend, just a, 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 because Loki's whatever gender not they binary. feel like being it. So yeah. a horse even. And I'm not, a, I'm not about the horse, but I'm about <laughs> just about any of their other forms. <laughs> oh, I want that to be a clip. Now. <laughs> All right, Lenny, you're up now. Uh, you, the Pawn King has, slid by you and just wrecked a large swath of the dreamscape uh, through the doors of oblivion. You can see the fight you've lived through. You can see you dousing the uh, school uh, paranormal society in liquor. Uh, 
you see little hug buddy and M Gete uh, both looking at you like this. Why would you do that? Good times. Uh, I am going to uh, just try and punch it, but but I'm using I'm using like the the water to fire myself and like give myself the momentum to just punch real good. All right, go ahead and give me that magician hit. All right, let's see, intelligence, which is this one, and range, which is this one. Big dice, roll good. They did okay. Uh, seven. That is not going to hit. Yeah, I figured uh, as much. It flips over onto its, you guess its front, and you go flying overhead. And uh, <laughs> we have to take a little break because uh, we have to give hot takes for musicals now. No. Thanks to Jimmy Buffett. Thank you, James Buffett. And uh, Joe Vixani, um has been like tipping out the wild. Joe Vixani, thank you so much for those <laughs> as well. You have definitely been pushing this forward. And don't worry, we will be getting to all the toast in a moment. Now, so uh, let's go ahead. I'll start us off. <clears throat> Rent is overrated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter who does it. I've seen it several times. Music's good. It's misery porn from the perspective of a rich white guy. Like, it's and not that to just easy. to just to just piggyback off of that. To be fair, it wasn't finished. People don't realize that. Yeah, fair enough. It was in previews. What we have is the first preview of the show. Yeah, they were. That's... They never basically got to bring it to the way to where it was supposed to be. In yeah. The end. That's uh, fair. Well, That's you gotta fair. take like, or leave it, you know. Uh -huh, wow. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But I do, I do agree with you. Like, I love Rent. My one of my dream roles is in Rent. Uh, most of my very favorite musical songs are from Rent. I also uh, realize that the story is completely appropriated by somebody who had no business writing it. So, and it's beginning to snow. All right. Now that I've thrown myself on this pyre, who would like to go next? I will go. Um, oh so I will preface this saying that I have only seen the pre-taped version on Disney Plus, and I absolutely loved Hamilton. And I think it's great. The music's great. The writing's great. Everyone in that is so good, except for Lin Manuel Miranda. He's the weakest link of that show. Not a hot take at all. Not a hot take. And really? even he would probably, like, even he would probably say so. Yeah. Yeah. He, I think he was really excited to finally give that role over to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, and I think it it's a testament of how good Hamilton is that it can get mm -hmm. so popular with him in the lead role because he doesn't have formal singing or dancing or acting <laughs> under Fair his enough. belt. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, he, uh, he does the exact same does, thing within the Heights. He does such so. a good job of, like, in that show of making it, like, it's not, like, his vanity project. He's like, no, I just wanted this to be a good show. <laughs> I mean, I'll go. And mine is, I mean, they're retaining some lukewarm takes and chats, so I'll say something that's probably going to be problematic, and that's okay. We've kind of hinted at it already, but I do not like Dear Evan Hansen. It is not a good show. It is not a good story. At the end of the day, is a white boy who is benefiting off of the suicide of someone else. That's completely fair. Period. And I yep. hate how glorified it is. Yep. And I know I have close friends who are in the, who were in the show. <laughs> and I'll tell them to their face, not a good show. I will fair never enough. support it. Song. Beautiful music. Beautiful music. Yeah. Gorgeous music. Requiem is one of my favorite songs. Such a good in, song. In, 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 in theater, not a good show. And it's and it's kind of sad. Morally really bad. How and also, I mean, a secondary hot take. Ben Platt ain't that good. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh. See, and this is the thing. I don't disagree with you. I think that Ben Platt is a great performer, an excellent singer. I do too. And all that stuff. I do too. Like, is this like how Ringo's think... the best Beatle, but he's not a good drummer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like for me, for me, when it comes to Ben Platt, like he owes his he. How do I explain this? He's somebody who is like so freaking talented, like just so so talented. <laughs> And obviously gave a lot of himself to that role. But 
I don't know. It's Make it's it one of those things where it's I've, like. I, I will never. I mean, I, I, I'm, I say this as a black person. Just be, it's kind of a silly thing, you know. But uh, he is a really good performer. But I also think he is an overrated white guy performer. Yeah. And because yeah. the show was so popular, he also had the popularity with it, if that makes sense. Also, let's be real. People think he's like, a, uh, came out of nowhere. No, his family is very much in, 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 in wrapped in theater. He didn't just come have out of you, nowhere, folks. <laughs> if any of y'all have seen The Politician, I feel like The Politician is like a perfect example of exactly what uh, what that popularity kind of did for his career uh, in a not necessarily great way. Fair enough. Like, I I don't know. I think anybody who's riding off the coattails of, uh, of Ryan in any way, shape, or form is just... Anyways. Uh, this is... this. That being said, still love the soundtrack. Think he does mm -hmm. an incredible job in it. My God, yeah. does he I will, I will fucking... Damn to this music all day. Does he tears that that musical apart? Anyways, you did the uh, chat. Thank you. That's my hot take. Goodness, I'm so head head empty. No thoughts over here. Um, <sighs> Mika. Oh, uh, Aki's Aki's. <laughs> no, I'm still thinking about it because I know you've got one like just right there. So I'm still thinking about mine. Yeah, I think that the off-Broadway version of Hades Town was leagues better than the on-Broadway version of Hades Town. I think it got extremely uh it, it lost the plot when it went on Broadway. Cuz the off-Broadway version was about a struggling artist and the on-Broadway version lost that depth and they changed a lot of the lyrics and it got it it just lost the plot. <laughs> I agree. That said, I love both the main Broadway actors so much. I, I, mean, I mean, look. I got another one. But go for it. Go for it. Mm. The West End Heathers is leagues better than the off Broadway version. Okay. Okay. Of Heathers. Uh, yes, of Heathers. Of the, uh, the, the West End Heathers had okay. balls. I have I have I have something to go inside with that and it's gonna sound like I'm I'm agreeing with the thing and it's not and I'll explain it. I've done Heathers. I've played Ram Sweeney. They shouldn't have taken out blue and changed it. The really? whole point of Heathers is showing how bad these kids are and how even though they are bad, it doesn't make J JD better. Uh blue was not, I mean, we're going into deep territory, so I want to make sure I'm not, you know, triggering anything like that, but Blue isn't necessarily a R-A-P-E song. It is a song about them wanting to have sex, and, like, they're going a little too far, but they never actually try to do anything with her, and she says, no, nah, I don't want that shit, and she gets out, and she's, tr she's still traumatized from it, because two guys are drunk, being like, hey, let's do stuff, whatever, and she kind of flips it back on them, but they took that and made it almost too on the nose. Like, obviously, she has the power in the song, but I think they they made it too... Cause it, it, the whole point to me as well is that she doesn't stand up for herself, really, until she realizes what JD is doing. So for her to have that power too soon doesn't make what JD does make sense. I get that. I get that. <laughs> Sorry, I have, I have, I have, I have thoughts about Heather's. <laughs> like, they're, yeah, they're not supposed to be good. Neither is Heather Chandler. So I think making them less good or more so giving her more it's still power. Better than Mean Girls. Any it's still better. It is still better than Mean Girls. Any mean version of book Girls. is horrible. Mean I Girls book one. is horrible. Go oh. for it. Uh, I think uh, Dina Menzel is not the best. Uh, That's actually, on, that, on that, that, was, that was literally what I was about to say. So yeah. I finally, so I got to watch a, a production of Wicked a few years ago on, on Broadway and the Elphaba who was there added so much fucking personality to yeah. everything. Like just the vocal like ability on her and just the, uh, like the little pieces of, of the original material of Wizard of Oz that she added in. Like, I was just like, I, I, Dina Mandel who 
Because this I would say in my top ten alpha buzz like, that were on Broadway or in a production, she would be in the like, bottom like three. I love Adina Menzel. She's not How actually that great of a vocalist. Like no. she's she's got she's a look. she does not very have a far lot of back right here. She doesn't have a lot of flexibility. Like like the thing the thing that kind of uh, kind of works against her is that she is so distinctive. Like she has so little flexibility in like her her vocal ability mm -hmm. that like I mean when she played Elsa in Frozen, it's like it's like you chose somebody who like nobody can really copy, but also yeah. is so definitively Adina's like, we don't hear Elsa and, he, and it's like, Oh, it's Elsa. It's distinct. And you know, you know, it's, it's Adina, you know, as it, whereas like Anna could be sung by anyone. Like, like they really like Chris, Kristen actually understands how a Disney princess is supposed to sound. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so oh, it can't yeah. be Adele Bazine. <laughs> Not apologizing for that one. Wickedly talented. Yeah. I mean, on the Sunday of the Oscars, okay. I don't think you have to. No. Okay. Uh, we could probably do this for another hour, but we are on a time. I told you I would have got. I, I would have. And gone we are gonna, popcorn. anyways. <laughs> I have so many more too. Oh god! Yeah, so we'll many. have to do it. We'll uh, have to do this again okay. next week. Yeah. I'll leave off on that. Waitress is not as feminist as it seems. There are a lot of feminist musicals that are not as feminist as they seem. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Fun Home's Fun Home's my favorite. Anyway, uh, okay, so Manny, uh, you just watched Lenny attempt to fight this rabbit monster creature thing. Uh, it stands at about 10 feet tall, 9 feet long, and it's made out of jagged edges and broken crowns now that you can actually get a good look at it. What are you going to do? Swords out, wings out. Let's do a slice, 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 slice. All right, roll the hit. Uh, I might actually try to fly too because I want to get height on this guy. All right. Mm, that is an 11. 11 hits. Cool. Uh, for uh, rolled an 11, so that's nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Mm. Uh, you make contact with this with this thing shoulder blade. You suspect it goes flying off, and when it crash lands, it just turns into nothing. It's you gone. You don't get to stand between us and our friend. All right, uh, just Kwame, yes. <laughs> Kwame uh, the end of the round is y'all you. Um. So sorry, recap because I've been stuck in Hot Tick City. Uh, Lenny, what did Lenny and Dolly do again? Dolly, <laughs> Dolly screamed at it. Uh, I did a very little ran damage. at it and was flicked away like a bug. <laughs> yeah. Tried to do a, a punch and didn't do a punch. Uh, okay. Instead of a falcon punch, it was a falcon punch, and <laughs> I, and Manny uh, actually did a good choppy chop to the pawn king. And pretty... Loki has uh, gotten out some uh, of those like really good cheese Doritos that are can never... the natural cheese Doritos, yeah, go, to go with this Panta. So having a good time. He's uh, such cool. trash. I love him. <laughs> it's very much trash. They're the worst. Uh, they, yes, sir. Uh, oh, mm. we can use any pronouns for Loki, which is great. This Hell is yeah! Hell yeah! Um, um, um. Kawame um, just looks at Orf or Orfino, Nopius, uh, and um, which one does he do? He yes, Rumpel. Um, <laughs> yep, Rumpel. Uh, Help yeah, us. um, he he's going to he's going to look as they start to try to hit him. Uh, and uh, kind of looks over it and on scene says, look, we got to do this. I'm tired of being here. Um, let me spin you a story in which you are tied down permanently. And I want uh, webs to start um, like shooting from the ground and just like holding um, Nopius down so they can't move much. Morris restraining them. Nopius, so, I like uh, that. Uh, fuck that. Um uh, yeah, restraining them so um, it's harder for them to either punch or like attack or just you know they can't move as much. All right, yeah, you want to give them a condition. Go yep. ahead and roll me power and strength and spend an AP point. Power and strength. Okay. Yeah. By the way, uh, everyone else, I hope you've been spending your points as well. 
except for Dahlia, because your scream is not using Persephone. Oh, I spent one. Did I need to back. spend one? Uh, yes, for your sword. And I thought I didn't have to spend AP for my sword. Oh, right, right, right. But you still did. Her you wings. still did a guardian hit, right? Yeah. I, I'm going to do a reroll. Oh, do I reroll one of the dice or both of the dice? You get to roll I both. Didn't, I didn't know Great. I had to spend for a hit. Uh, to do a hit with a guardian punch, that will be an AP. Oh. I, I thought you said that um, with our with our weapons, it's just our strengths. Oh, no, 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 no. With your what? Did I say that? Could I've you, never had I, to spend AP on an attack before. Okay, then we'll just say you still have your AP. Okay. So, you, yeah, you had mentioned that um, uh, once our weapons are out, uh, you, you say you weren't you didn't you didn't have to use AP to get the weapons because they're they're things we do and then attack and was just using strength or whatever it is. Yes, um, yes you are right. Uh, uh, okay, that's a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, we'll round that up to nine. Uh, it, so Nopius, which is a great name by the way, now has webbed nine. If he rolls below a nine, he is going to take a hit and lower a die from. An, well, whatever it's currently at to the size lower. So good job, Kwame. Cool. All right, we're at the top of the order with Dahlia. Where is it right now? Um, it missed hitting you, and it's behind you. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to restrain it with some vines from Persephone. Okay. Uh, go ahead. We'll make it the same as we did for Kwame. I believe that was strength and power. Yes, yes. Five. Okay, that is going to... <laughs> we'll be kind and round that up to Vind three. Indeed. Okay. Uh, your vines and the webs are just kind of like trying to match and it's just not right. it's uh nopius is furious and its eyes are well manny's the only one that's hit it so far so it's going to try to go after them i mean they're they're going to be pretty easy to hit they didn't roll very high uh they got a six which, which does my hit number. your initiative. Yes. Yep. All right. Uh, so go ahead and roll your defense. defense. Ooh, boy. Uh, oh, I rolled a three. I rolled a 14. Yikes. So I take 11 damage? You take 11. Cool. Oof. Oof da. Oof da indeed da. Yes. Uh, it throws some these shattered crowns at you, Manny, and they just dig into your shoulder. Uh, Ow. It hurts real bad. Um, next. Ma, uh, like, we're going to have to talk about some armor at some point. We're going to have to talk about that indeed. Lenny, you're up next. All right. I watched it uh, hit my good friend Manny. So I'm going to use my telepathy to try and force it to start hitting itself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. All right, uh, go ahead and roll intelligence. Okay, let's see. Boop, uh, five. Okay, that's not going to hit, but as you go inside no Nopius's mind, is that what we call it, Nopius? Nopius. Uh, Nopius. Nopius. As you go inside Nopius's mind, you see something you are, how do I put this? You see something you didn't expect to see. You see Orpheus. You know it's Orpheus. But they're human. And, well, they're not human. They are not a human. They have the head of a rabbit and these wings made out of crowns. And they're floating with a scythe in one hand and a uh, clock in the other and you know what Orpheus was supposed to look like. Next up is Manny. That hurt, and it was not very nice. 
Um, and I'm gonna go and try and do a, a hit again. Um, just gonna keep trying to whittle this thing down uh, to size. Let's see if we can't get our Orpheus back. Ooh, nice. That's What'd really good. Uh, that is a 17. To Ooh, hit. that's gonna hit beautifully. Go ahead and roll that damage. The damage, however, is not as good. In fact, it is bull crap. And I don't Would you know like if to I'm use a reroll? We have three. Okay. I'm going to because that was bad. That was bad damage. This is much, much better. Uh, that's 13 damage. 13. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and describe how you hit this thing. All right, so Manny kind of pulls one of the shards of, of, of stone from their shoulder and tosses it behind them and bares their teeth uh, at this, this pawn king and like like zooms towards it with their, their blade held back towards uh, against their chest and then like kind of stab it up into the thing and then like kind of rip it away to kind of bring a, a whole chunk of it off of him. It does not like that. All right. Uh, Kwame, My you're up My friends, next. give them back. Did Dahlia go? Dahlia Top of the order, yeah. yeah. I missed How her. I, I, I did like a three grapple. You did the bind. I always miss you for some reason. I'm Combat sorry. Combat is fast. <laughs> uh, cool, yeah. Uh, Kwame, after it is now restrained and watching Manny, as uh, Sly said it, he plows his fist together, forming his fanged fist. Um, and runs up and attempts to venom strike it. Um, hit him. Roll the hit. Um, that's what I was about to roll a d20. Wow. Um, that's the just strength, correct? Hmm? Wait, wait, what is, what, what, what is the hit? What is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's intelligence power. For, for a magician. Which intelligence. It's intelligence power. Thank you. Minus two. Minus two, yes. It's the opposite. I thought for a magician it's uh, intelligence range. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Because magicians are supposed range. To be Thank you. Throwing. But I'm not a range. Yeah. Uh, what am I looking for? You. For me, ah. it's strength and power plus two. Hmm. That is a twelve. A twelve hits. Cool. Great. Same and then roll. I do a plus two. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. That is nineteen. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, nice. All right. Describe how you hit this thing, because you did a massive amount of damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, and remember, the, 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 the fists uh, are more like brass knuckles. Um, it was like, like, like a brass knuckles, but like a half fist that goes like to the middle of his wrist on each side. And the, uh, the, the pinky finger... And the index finger on both sides have um, like fangs, um, like little sharp fangs. Yeah. Uh, and um, he runs up and like kind of uppercuts. Um, and as he does, he wants those fangs to really like get in there and then like rip out. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of boom. You do that mm. and it hurts this thing. It lets out a scream. Uh, we are back to the top of the order with Dahlia. I'm going to lose my cool and slam my hands down on the ground and call on Persephone to create a bunch of spikes underneath this thing that just grow out of the ground. All right. Are you trying to uh, give it a condition or are you trying to attack? Uh, a little of both. It's like pin it, but also damage it. Okay. We'll make this an attack roll then. Okay. Yeah. Y'all going to make me lose my mind. Open here. Okay, int plus range, 8 plus 8, 16, minus 2, 14. That's gonna hit. Okay. <laughs> hit plus range. range. Plus 2, 7 plus 12, plus 2, 21. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez. <laughs> All right. Wow, 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 wow. All right, You wow. took my best friend. Give him back. Dahlia, <laughs> how does this go down, Mika? Dahlia you is killed this thing. How does it yeah, go? She is uh losing it because she had thought she was going to bring Orpheus into a hug 
and finally get to see her best friend, but then he morphed into this pawn king. And so she lets out this like guttural scream and just slams her hand on the ground. And Persephone takes over the rest by just like a ripple of these thorns coming out of the ground in a wave and then striking it from underneath while it's not looking at her. You shred the pawn king to pieces. You rip it asunder. Um, and among this crag you've created, you see a figure, humanoid, but not. Long wings made out of crowns, the face, the head of a rabbit, one hand a scythe, one hand a clock. Um, Loki approaches Manny. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, real quick, are we at the chess game part of the thing, or are you dealing with the other thing? I, I want to know where in, where exactly you are right now. We're doing chess. Chess, good, good, good. So here's a fun thing. Crows need, well, crows don't need anything. They're not anything. Crows come from divinity. Mm -hmm. Divinity and bad vibes. That's generally where they come from. And another fun thing, if a pawn makes it to the other end of a board, it becomes a king. Right. Is that what happened with Orpheus? Oh, right. You th still think his name's Orpheus, right? Yes. Uh, that is Wait. exactly what happened with your Orpheus. No, 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 no. You can't do this and then not tell me what his actual name is. Uh, Dahlia, do you approach the figure uh, among the crag you've created? Oh, yeah. It opens its eyes. They're large and green, and they are Orpheus's. And it gives you a smile. Is it? Is it really you? Hi, Dahlia. Oh, my God. She's going to like start crying and just fall on him and hug him. He's in a lot of pain, but he accepts the hug and he hugs you back. Loki, uh, being just the worst, uh, takes out their uh, bendy straw, kind of taps it off because that's reusable, but then they throw the can away. So I guess it evens out. Oh, uh, yes. See, when... You haven't met him yet. When he got bored, he turned Morpheus into Orpheus. Took away the M. Morpheus? The king of dreams. Uh, he wasn't oh. wrong. He was a god. This makes sense. I've been wondering why we've been referring to Orpheus as a god, when in mythology he is just a human. Oh, you're here. Good, good, good. Have Don't talk to me. Ah, uh, we've met. <laughs> he doesn't like you very much, Loki. Uh, none of them really do right now. You've been kind of me. You've been doing Loki things. Um, yes, well, I assure you I'm on your side, even when I'm not. Does that help? Got it. Got to no. get through the bad. Didn't think so. Good. Ah, I told you that line. Good. I'm glad you remembered it. Because it's going to get much worse. You have no idea how bad it's going to get, but it will get better at the end. I pinky swear. I do me one better. If if you turn out to be right, you you and me, buddy, we we we're we're gonna go for a coffee and we're gonna get to know each other because I, I want you to actually be my friend friend and not like, you know doing the silly things that you're doing all the time. So forward. I'm friends. Shook. I want okay. us to be friends, friends. We'll have coffee. I promise. Cool. Well, I give this place about three minutes before it starts falling apart, so I will take my leave. I have to go be a rabbit now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you're a cute rabbit if it makes you feel any better. Not at all. 
Lovely to see you, Kwame. Bye, Lenny. I told you not to talk to you. Okay. All right, everybody. We got to move. We don't have a lot of time. We got to get out of here. Yes. Uh, Dahlia, in your Someone arms. push me into a bathtub so we can wake up. Okay, that's... Oh, my God. If you well, all make one more Inception reference, I'm going to scream. Let's go. I'm pretty sure it was Memento. I will kill you. <laughs> Dahlia, the figure turns back into the large, green-eyed, space-colored rabbit. Which is good, because I need all of you to roll me uh, roll me dexterity or strength. Which effort's higher? Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. cool yeah, I'll cool, go with cool. dexterity. I'll go with strength. Six. Yeah, I'll go with strength. Manny may be small, but they strong. Eleven. Two. Eleven. Six. Thank, thank, thanks, Loki, even though I don't like you. Six. Okay. Uh, the world around you begins to shake like an earthquake. Everything sways back and forth. Uh, if you peer through the door back into the white room where you had the fight, well, the final fight, you can see it starting to fall apart. The dream is ending. Um I need everyone to give me a dexterity check as you just try to book it out of here. Dexterity. Here we go. Six. I rolled Seven. a max on Six. my guy. Uh, Kwame, you go just tumbling down. Uh, you take a wound of seven. Kwame. What is that? Is that different from like, is I take seven hits, hit points? Or am I, am no, no, I... no. Okay, okay. So a wound is a condition similar to how you give them in combat. Basically, uh -huh. if you roll below a seven on your next dexterity roll, your dex, your dex die is going to shrink a size. Okay, it's already really low, so let's not do that. Kwame, yeah. Kwame. Kwame, Kwame falls of, and yeah. just... Manny, the crag like, is falling apart and Kwame runs up to cut. him and like kind of pulls Kwame up. Come yeah. on. I'm I strong. do not like realities that I do not control. There's can something just, to be unpacked here, I believe. But we'll can talk I about just, that later. Can I just pick up Kwame and, and, and carry him? <laughs> Give me a strength roll. Okay. Uh, nine. Do you consent to being carried, Kwame? <laughs> For this, I'm actually going to roll a d20. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yes. Kwame, you are the envy of many people. And somewhere back in the Galana dorms, Nanako just... Huh. I don't know why I'm annoyed right now. <laughs> what? You don't think she would find the idea of Linux holding Kwame in his arms? And this to, isn't... This two isn't some, mostly boys. <laughs> it's not some, like, fireman's carry over. It's full oh, no. on, like... like it's yeah. Rydal going yeah. over the... <laughs> Manny, Manny's love about it. Manny's all about it. Manny's like, that's great. Dahlia's kind of whispering to, name? to Morpheus. Quinix? Quinix. Quinny? Quinny. 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 As the four of you run, well, three of you run and one of you being carried, uh, you see Miss Wong. Uh, she's opened up another door. Uh, it spins around her like a spirograph. Over here, over here. You need to get out of here now. We're on our way. Manny is running, 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 running. Uh, Driving through the door. Action star style. <sighs> All I, know, four I was gonna say, Anansi crawls onto Lenny's head. <laughs> Anansi is 100% on your head, Lenny. On, on, on yeah, gets boop. <laughs> Faster, faster, white boy. He has a little wedding <laughs> problem. We don't know where it okay. goes. <laughs> <laughs> I broke CP. <laughs> broke CP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Nobody is asking you to apologize right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to turn on a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, is everybody okay? I'm fine. 
I killed CB. I don't know. I, 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 I got to go to Twitch jail now for murder. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Eric, are you also okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Oh, child. Okay, I needed that laugh. That was good. Because that's was, exactly what would have happened, but I just didn't <laughs> think it was going to be said. Okay. Wow. Okay. I can say it. I have a white friend. Um, yes. <laughs> the three oh, of you come boy. barreling out of the chalk door. Oh, boy. <laughs> As the three of you come barreling out of the chalk door, Kwame and Lenny's arms, uh, you see the world behind you just crumble. And you are now back in the auditorium, the real one. Dahlia, in your arms is a black rabbit with large green eyes, the fur, fur the color of midnight, with a small white tuft of hair at the top of his hair that top of his head that looks like a crown. Oh my gosh, okay, I have so much to catch you up on. The weeks you've been gone, I'm gonna become prom queen. Well, part of the prom court. Um, gosh, I'm, you You have no idea the scripts that we're about to read for the next uh, semester of drama class. I cannot wait to catch you up and have you read against me. Um, Cause these also, guys don't like reading my scripts. Also, she finally asked out Spiro. Lenny is still holding Kwame. <laughs> Hi, oh, yeah. Hi, Morpheus. Oh, yeah, this is Kwame. Oh. Hello. You had... I, like, finally roll out of Lenny. <laughs> He's kind of like... Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, reality. Morpheus looks up at Kwame. Looks down at Kwame. I'm mm. on the ground. Oh, <laughs> Ben, you're at eye level. <laughs> Rolled you know, I rolled out of Lenny and went yeah. to the ground. And now I'm going, oh. You're the one who got my fifth key. Sure. Yeah, yeah yes. That happened. I'm, What's up? I'm glad it was you. Call me. It's really cool. Thank you for helping my friends. I'm not really uh, okay. I'm helping, I guess. Yeah, he's part of the safety squad with us. A very I'm not crucial a part member. Of, I am 100% not a part of the safety squad. He's officially. a part of it. He's a part of the team. We already got the team list um, made and laminated, so it's not really it's it's really hard to change, Kwame. Let me spin you a story in which my name was never on that list. I didn't actually. I didn't actually do anything, <laughs> but. <laughs> There's a veiled threat. is already threat. doing the arm thing like, no, no. Oh, oh okay, we're not doing it. Okay. <laughs> it's just a veiled threat. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, hi. So In case say, anybody me. here wasn't aware, or Orpheus is not actually his name. Unless that is what you want to be called. That part. Now, I, uh, dying, I didn't really die. I was kind of trapped, but, uh, I'm me now. And, uh, I feel like I'm fully me now. I'm Morpheus. I'm Morpheus. Thank you. My uh, my eye, my head just like looks over at Lenny. Do not make a matrix joke. What? Okay, good. Uh, and if any of you have ever seen a rabbit cry before, it is uh, Bambi levels of cute as uh, Morpheus just kind of hugs Dahlia and sobs. And... She sobs back. <laughs> and now we have some school announcements. Uh, uh, good afternoon. 
afternoon, uh, fellow students of North Point Academy. We got a bunch of announcements this fine afternoon. Uh, first one comes up from Five Foot Latina. It says, the North Point Academy family wishes uh, an only slightly belated uh, a administrative professionals day uh, to the voice of North Point Academy, our beloved administrator. Uh, P.S. I, 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 uh, I absolutely did not take your favorite pen. Is that where my, my pen's gone? No, I, I, put the, I told you we got to put them on the chain. <laughs> got to put them on the chain. All right. Uh, Chovic Sadi says, uh, the safety squad can, can do it all. Safety squad, never fall. Safety squad. There's a reason Zora isn't in poetry. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to read that part. Uh, it seems somewhat self-deprecating. I don't know if, if, if anyone was there. Uh, and then we got one from Jimmy Buffett. Again, which one of these kids says, I, I, I love Jimmy Buffett. I feel like, are they making fun of Jimmy Buffett? I don't know. All right, I'll read it. I'll read it. Uh, Jimmy Buffett says, any hot takes about Escape from Margaritaville? Uh, it I don't doesn't have exist. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all for the school announcements today. Uh, lunch will be Salisbury steak. <laughs> I love Salisbury steak. Oh my god, so so bad. do I. Oh. Especially if there's mushrooms in the in, in the and in mashed the potatoes as a side and mashed potatoes, oh. yeah, and green you know, beans. Uh, okay, uh, 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 not tangent, but on that same note, you know those uh, those red the boxes, the TV red dinners banquet? you can get, yeah, yeah. red banquet, banquet. sauce based steak all day, absolutely, we have all some day, in the <laughs> all day. Yeah, that was my shit. It's like, that's my dad's favorite steak favorite is probably, meal probably one ever. of the, like it, it really is one of the most portable meals. Like, yeah, you can't really go wrong with like. You just can't. Mm -hmm. Way to gravy potatoes for giving us that for lunch. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to say meatloaf. It's up there. Uh, um, as the four of you, now joined by Morpheus, exit the auditorium, Mandy stays behind with Miss Wong to discuss, well, what they're going to do about that memory and her strange strange power set a young woman that you recognize comes bounding up well flipping up to be honest uh, across the quad you see a group of oh kwame there's clowns oh no it's the circus club Ew. manny just kind of steps in front of kwame kind of as you know a short but um, capable shield. <laughs> so you, you recognize the woman as Zoya. She's uh, another divinity user and brought to you by our Patreon. Uh, Dahlia. Yes. Uh, uh, been busy with uh, Kim and the. Uh, Nerd boy, uh, Nick, Nick, and the pretty, pretty cheekbones, abs, yeah. one, uh, Spiro, Spiro, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was accurate. Uh -huh. Both, both Lenny and Kwame have abs too, so it's just funny. He was like, the fuck to me, and you're kidding. <laughs> like, Lenny, Lenny literally pulls up his shirt and goes, like, I mean, I don't, Kwame just like <laughs> pulls his shirt down. <laughs> You're scaring the children. Uh, they told me what you were doing today, and uh, she extends a gift to you. It's a uh, it's a ribbon. It's very pretty. Uh, thank you, Soya. Okay. It, it's special. You enjoy. I go back to uh, keeping clown away from uh, scanty pants. I'm gonna pin it to the hem of my shirt. I have I, pins. I care. I am them. not scared. I just do not like or find them necessary. That's all. 
Clan behind you. Ah, shit! <gasps> Scary pants. Very good. Did we just so- learn something? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Not cool. Not nice. That not uncalled for. Zoya flips away, and uh, Manny, you know when you saw that strange aura around the crowns? There's a strange aura around this ribbon. Dahlia? Can hey, I, what's up? Can I see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't really think it'll go with me in my outfits, but I'll wear I, it anyway. There you go. I, actually, do you, do you mind if I hold on to it? I think I know exactly what I should do with this. Don't you see it? Can't you feel it? It's got the same thing going on as the crowns. This is one oh. of the this is oh. this is one of the things that needs to okay. be given to a member of the prompt court. Oh. I, I could turn it into like a sash or something, if that's okay. It was a gift for you. No, that's okay. Maybe um. it can be my sash. Maybe. Are you sure you're okay with me uh, 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 reappropriating it for this purpose? Yeah, I think that would be fine. If Zoya asks, I'll say I wanted it to go down in history. And well, besides, if, if you get it right back, technically you're not actually giving it up. You're just making it better. Yeah. It is exactly. Being, it is being put to good use. Uh, Manny, go ahead and roll me intelligence real fast. Ooh, my best stat. I know. I rolled a six. Okay. Um, go ahead and give yourself a eight bonus AP. Oh, 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 okay, cool. Why? You feel yourself uh, refreshed and more awake than you have in a long time by holding this ribbon. You can tell that this is a very important, don't want to call it a relic, but it's something similar, an artifact. This thing is very powerful. And it loses its luster very as soon as you feel that. (laughs) You took Dahlia's thing. (laughs) You were holding it longer. Yes. Uh, the, good news, the good news is, okay, no. uh, this is Steven explaining I, now. I don't like, I don't like this. No. <laughs> no, like, is, I seriously, I'm seriously not okay with this. Okay, I'm sorry. We can X card that. I apologize. But yes, uh, this is what I will be calling an artifact to differentiate it from a relic. Once a day, it can replenish eight, eight, it can replenish one intelligence roll plus two AP. Yeah, no, I seriously am not okay with taking away Dahlia's boon. That's not cool. Um, so <laughs> I, I think I think that once they they that Dahlia's like said yes, you can use it. Like they would have handed it back to Dahlia and be like, I'll come back for it at some point. Yeah. Um, Dahlia, go ahead and roll me intelligence at two and gain that much AP. Okay, okay. Oh, I rolled a max on my intelligence dice, so I got ten. Nice. You have- you now have 12 temporary AP. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh God. All right. Dahlia, feeling refreshed and your mission accomplished, you, the four of you now have but one mission left. Get the crowns and stop the king in white. I mean, we have the crowns. Well, you have the crowns, but now you have to, you know, become the king's on your chessboard. So you guys have to start campaigning a little bit more seriously, okay? All of you. Okay. All of you. That includes you, Lenny. All right. We just can't risk these falling into the wrong hands, is, is what I'm saying. Unless you really, 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 really don't want to do it. Like, I didn't want to do it. Which I completely understand. But if, but if, yeah, we have a responsibility. Now that we've got Morpheus back, I think that we should, we should make sure that we're, we're doing everything we can to, like I said, make sure the crowns don't end up on the wrong heads. 
Okay. All right. But before we do that, Kwame starts heading towards the cafeteria because he wants some Salisbury steak. Let's get some food. As the four of you go off to get lunch, uh, you feel not only a good lunch, but you feel that sense of accomplishment of things going the right direction. Yes. At least you hope so. And that is where we are going to call this episode of New Pantheon Academia. Wait. Wait. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so I was waiting. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. My name's Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. Uh, until I get a season to assist, that's just going to be my thing for a while. Uh, find my hot takes and baldness on TikTok. Go go check them out. I'm going to eventually get a Twitter. I'm going to get a Twitter back eventually. I'll figure it out. Now, uh, Mika, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me uh, on any social media site at RIP Mika. I stream Monday to Friday. And on Sundays, I do this. And on Saturdays, I am in a Harry Potter RPG that's benefiting Mermaids UK, which is a uh, trans-supporting charity. Fuck TERFs. Fuck TERFs. Fuck JKR. Fuck turfs. We're also using an RPG system that was made completely by fans and throws no support whatsoever towards JKR. So, Love to hear it. Heck Eric, yeah. where can they find you? Uh, they can always find me, mostly Eric, on all the social media platforms, including Twitch, where I stream video games from time to time. Very good. And Ducky. Hi, everybody. You can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And my entire Twitch streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Chidari Aki, S H I D A R E A K I. Nice. Um, the Critical Bard. Uh, yeah, you can find me everywhere at uh, Critical Bard, uh, which is my title. You see it somewhere on the, on the screen. Uh, uh, next, tomorrow, you can catch me over on Realm Smith uh, playing Into the Mist, which is the Curse of Strahd campaign, um, where I play Sir Godfrey Gwillem, um, our resident undead uh, paladin. Uh, and uh, uh, next Friday, uh, well, the entire week after Friday as well. Uh, I want to shout out Jasper's Game Week, which is happening over on multiple different uh, channels. But it is a week-long time of TTRPG playing, uh, supporting suicide prevention. Um, prevention. I'm actually going to be DMing a D&D game on D&D Beyond Yay. at 1030 Eastern, I think, p.m. There's there, there'll be more stuff on, on the socials. Make sure you... Uh, you check that out. Uh, and then I have uh, to say one last um, music of the hot take that people are going to destroy me for. I don't care for Pat and Lapone and anything goes. Okay. That, that's it. Yeah. Sure. How I- dare you? I mean, <laughs> I've not seen the show, so I can't. Yeah, I, I think the best voice on Broadway is Cynthia Rivio. But... Aki, um... take your meds. Yes. Yep, that is exactly what my my phone is telling me to do. And one more <laughs> quick reminder before we head out: uh, if you are enjoying us, check us out on the Exploration Society. It's our Patreon. Uh, if you join before <coughs> Friday, April thirtieth, twenty twenty one, that is when it. I mean, that's the current year. I don't know when you're listening to this. Uh, if you join at any level, you'll receive an exclusive Founders Pin along with other goodies. It really helps the show. It really helps us. It keeps things happening, and it really would mean a lot. So if that's something you're interested in, please check it out. Once again, my name's Stephen Pope. This has been New Pantheon Academia, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye!